All right, today's the last day of the 30-day challenge, and you can see that they have a brand new question for us again. Uh, before we get started solving this, um, after this, there is a May challenge, so I'm going to look into doing that. But I've also been preparing a couple of project tutorials, so hopefully I can release those. Um, if, you, if you know what kind of videos you'd like to see me try, um, feel free to leave a comment as well. Okay, so in this problem, we're given a binary tree, and we also want to, to check to see if uh, a sub, what is it? It's a sequence, if a sequence exists inside this tree. So for example, here with 0, 1, 0, 1, this sequence does exist. So they define sequence as you have to start at the root node and it has to end at a leaf node. So leaf node meaning that it's, its left and right subtrees are both null. So here's a couple of invalid cases. So here our sequence is uh, 0, 0, 1. But you can see that our best attempt here fails. We don't have 0, 0, 1. And this other one, it's that our, our, we only want a sequence of 0, 1, 1, but it doesn't end at, uh, at the leaf node because we still have a left subtree and a right subtree. So this fails as well. So the general strategy that we'll try is a recursive depth first search where we're just going to search and, and the moment that we find out that this path is incorrect for any reason, we'll, we'll return false and then we'll let the other path uh, try to find an answer. And at the end, if you know, at any point, if we found an answer, we want to like let everybody know here's the answer. And if we return false, then we just continue searching until we've searched all available paths. Okay. So let's give this a go. So we want to try something recursive here. So maybe something like is valid that will take in a root, uh, or I guess just a node, the array, but also the specific index that we're matching for this recursion. Okay, so again, if, if we find something that doesn't work, we want to fail fast. So what are our invalid cases? Well, one, uh, that pretty big obvious one is if your node.val doesn't equal your array at i, then you want to return false. So if, for example, we're checking 0, 1, 0, 1, and you find out that the root of your tree is not 0, then you know we've already failed here. OK, so there's a couple of other cases. Uh, for example, if we're, so now we know uh, the, the value is equal. Right. So how else can we fail? Well, if this is the leaf node, so or is it, if this is the end of the sequence, so if i equals array dot length, then what we need to do is we need to make sure, so minus 1 for the last index, we need to make sure that this is a leaf node. So what we'll do is we'll return that node, node dot left is equal to null, uh, and node dot right is equal to null. So if this is not uh, a leaf node, then even though we've completed this array by reading, matching every single one, it's still not the correct answer. Okay, so now comes the cases where uh, we have to continue matching until we get to until we get to this point. So what we'll do is, so we want to continue matching, because now what happens is i is less than array dot length. Uh, so you want to keep on going. So if node.left does not equal null, then what we want to do is we want to check if the left subtree gives us a valid answer. So we want to check if is valid node, all right, and then at the, at the next index here. So if this returns true, then we found a good answer, so we can return true. Um, similarly, we can do the same thing for the right side. Uh, oh, and here we want to go left, and here we want to do right. Okay, so what about the very last case? So that means um, we're still in the process of matching our array, um, but the left subtree didn't give us a good answer, and neither did the right subtree. Um, that means, you know, this path does not contain any answer, so we'll return false and let our parent know. Okay, so that should be it for this recursion. So let's see how we can invoke it. So what we'll do is we'll return is valid uh, for this root at this array with starting with the index zero. Okay, 
So you can notice here in our uh, recursion, we assume that the node is not null because we don't do any uh, node null checks here. So we'll push it up to here in, instead. So if root is equal to null, then we're really only looking to see, there's only one way for this to, to return true. It's if array.length is also equal to zero. Right, so if the array length is zero and the root is null, then you know that's that's a valid sequence. Okay. So give this a go. And cool. All right, so this is the end of day 30 and the last day of this challenge. Again, lead code is saying that they're going to do a May challenge. So I'm going to look into that, but also I'm thinking of putting out some project tutorial videos that we can follow along and code together. Um, let me know in the comments um, and I'll see you whenever the next one is.